man's inherited gift to seek improvements of the mind and body, God has blessed him with an inquiring brain, the fruits of which are the material, spiritual, and cultural advancements of each generation. Just as the first books were printed to feed this curiosity, so have schools been erected to do a better job. Here in America, the most progressive nation in the world, we are keenly aware of an increasing need for higher learning among our young people. Past trends reveal that by 1960, we may expect 25% of our youths to go to college. Therefore, to meet this increased enrollment, colleges must offer greater accommodations and wider opportunities than ever. To appreciate the active efforts toward this achievement, it is befitting to visit a modern, growing institution of higher learning, situated in a thriving state of new horizons, such as the University of Florida. Ideally located near the center of the state, the university calls Gainesville its home. Over 300 acres of grassy carpets and imposing red brick buildings make up the main campus of this combined land-grant college and state university, while its total acreage, including outlying properties, is more than 10,000 acres. From its early beginning as a state university for men, the institution has been in a constant state of change and growth. The admission of women students in 1947 brought the biggest change, for along with them came the initiation of new courses to suit feminine needs and the construction of new dormitories to house the co-eds. Thoroughly modern in every respect, these dormitories provide all the conveniences for gracious living. The recent increased enrollment of men students also necessitated the building of new dormitories for men that compare equally with the beauty and comfortable living features of the women's units. Many new structures about the campus and additions to older buildings further reflect the growth of enrollment and at the same time reveal a far-sighted effort toward the university's plans for the future. One of the most striking new structures is the Student Service Center where much of the leisure activity of students is centered. The hub, as it is referred to by students, houses such service units as the post office that serves the university and West Gainesville, bookstore, a restaurant, soda fountain, banquet hall, and laundry depot. Equally popular is the student union building with its offices for student government, the student paper, and meeting rooms for the student clubs and professional and honorary fraternities and sororities. A student's first impression of this vast modern plant is probably gathered at the administration building. For here are the registrar's office and the housing office, as well as classrooms, clinics, laboratories, and the executive offices. Many of the recent successful strides of the university have been made under the able guidance of its president, Dr. J. Hillis Miller, and its vice president, Dr. John S. Allen. Along with the leadership of an efficient staff, a highly trained faculty is available to impart knowledge from the institution's ten colleges and three schools. The University of Florida is, of course, alert to the needs of the state and meets these needs through the training of students for better positions as citizens and workers and through the contributions from the research laboratories of its various schools and colleges. The University's College of Agriculture continues to be of untold value to the farm families of the state through the Agricultural Extension Service, with branches in all principal areas of Florida. Farmers find they are prime source for increasing the productivity of Florida farms. In that Florida is second in the nation in total forest land area, the university feels a keen responsibility toward the preservation and development of this enviable resource. The School of Forestry performs the dual function of developing scientific management methods of this asset and training students to use them. Through the College of Engineering, students become familiar with the engineering problems peculiar to the state as they learn to conserve the state's natural resources as well as its manpower. 
Of particular importance is the university's technique of using radar equipment to trace hurricanes. Storm areas within a radius of 2,000 miles may be located by the spherics equipment developed at the University of Florida. National recognition has been given the new sewage research laboratory and the campus sewage treatment plant for services to towns and cities throughout Florida in solving their peculiar sanitation problems. With more than $3 million worth of equipment, and an outstanding staff of many eminent engineers and scientists. The university's College of Engineering repeatedly contributes to the wealth of the state and the nation through the utilization of nature's energy and resources. To the visitor, one of the most impressive courses is found in the College of Law. A beautiful practice court, complete to the last detail, is unequaled in the state except for the state Supreme Court room in Tallahassee. Here law students present cases for trial before a faculty judge and fellow student jury. The College of Law proudly boasts the fact that most of Florida's governors, senators, representatives, and Supreme Court justices are graduates of this school. The College of Business Administration numbers among its alumni thousands of successful businessmen and employees who explored the mysteries of economics and business management or balanced their first books on this busy campus. The P.K. Young Laboratory School provides actual practice under competent supervision in the science and art of teaching in these authentic classrooms. Here, some of the nation's most able teachers received their early training. The Siegel Building, located in the main business section of Gainesville, is the home of the General Extension Division of Florida. Among its many services is the extension of university instruction to all people, by mail, through off-campus classes, and in teachers' workshops. A program of adult education composed of short courses institutes and clinics for business and professional people is also offered by the division. Voluntary organizations such as civic clubs and women's organizations are also served by this unit. The only state extension library is maintained here, as is the state extension film service. Through these and other means, the general extension division endeavors to help those who wish to help themselves with their educational efforts. The Siegel Building also houses the Florida State Museum, a service created to collect, preserve, and interpret data concerning the history of Florida, both natural and civil. Just as intensely as the university's various schools and colleges seek to prepare the student to make a good living in his chosen profession, it also stresses the development of good citizenship. Under the honor code, students administer their own justice. Along with this, the ability to take part in the religious, educational, and cultural activities of his home community is also a necessary achievement of the university student. As a means of accomplishing these ends, the university makes available many cultural advantages that are enjoyed by the entire community. A Gothic-styled auditorium is the scene of regularly scheduled free concerts, which are equally enjoyed by students and townspeople. From the Drama Department Workshop Theater come full-scale productions presented by the well-known Florida Players. Productions range from the best plays of Shakespeare to current Broadway hits. Further enriching the cultural environment of the school and the town is the College of Architecture and Allied Arts. Here, Fletcher Martin, a painter of international renown, instructs a class in fine arts. A crafts laboratory provides students an opportunity to exercise still more creative abilities. A university operated radio station not only serves the Gainesville area with entertaining and educational programs daily, but also furnishes many opportunities for practical experience in this field to students. In the College of Arts and Sciences, the Department of Speech makes use of radio equipment in its own laboratory to give students a chance to participate in a variety of radio programs as part of their classwork.
students in the School of Journalism worked with card news events. Books, however, are still the backbone of education. With a half million volumes contained on its shelves, the University Library plays a vital role in the cultivation of mind and spirit. Imagine this wealth of cultural and educational advantages accumulated in the center of a state that abounds in beauty and recreational activity. While the university presents every occasion for residents of Gainesville to enjoy its wealth, Gainesville too affords many pleasures and accommodations for the student as well as its own residents. A modern pleasant town of some 37,000 people, Gainesville is the county seat of Alachua County and an agricultural leader in the state. Its civic leaders are actively interested in improvements that will benefit the community. City and university officials work together as a closely knit team toward these objectives in order that the school and community may share every achievement. Intersected by three main highways that easily connected with all parts of the state and the nation, Gainesville is also served by regular bus service, two railroad lines, and an adequate number of flights in and out of the city daily. Several excellent hotels in the downtown area, plus any number of comfortable tourist homes, motor courts, and apartments provide accommodations for the visitor. Its fully accredited and adequately staffed public schools rank with the best in the state. With beauty prevailing throughout, the real charm of the community radiates from the homes. Plush green lawns and endless displays of colorful flowers and rich shrubbery seem to intensify the beauty of every bungalow and pretentious estate. Lovely fraternity and sorority houses with their ivy-covered exteriors and well-kept lawns add their own charm and atmosphere. Much of the social life of students and Gainesville's young set is sponsored by these groups. Yes, life in a college town carries its own particular appeal, whether one attends the school or resides in the community. Set in a wide variety of fertile soils with good natural drainage, Alachua County has a constant growing season for vegetables, staple crops, fruits, nuts, and pastures. To balance this rich agricultural asset is a healthy amount of industry. Other than being the original setter of the tongue oil industry, Gainesville holds several manufacturing plants, thriving lumber and turpentine industries, and many smaller diversified businesses. Although it is not generally known as a tourist center, Gainesville is surrounded by numerous recreational activities, such as world-famous beaches, many gardens and other points of interest, including the much-publicized Silver Springs, that scenic underwater wonderland. The area is also a haven for sportsmen of the field and stream. Situated halfway between the Atlantic Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico, for deep sea fishing. There are also 10 rivers and scores of lakes for freshwater fishing within a 50 mile radius. 
No doubt there are more freshwater fish in this particular area than in any other section of the state. The abundant forests that fill the surrounding countryside fairly bristle with wildlife for unexcelled hunting pleasures. Available airboats propelled by airplane motors are able to skim over grassy waters into otherwise unnavigable areas. For well-planned social activities, the Gainesville Country Club extends its hospitality to residents, visitors and students alike. A splendid golf course flanking the club is also open to students at special low rates. Many bridle paths make riding a popular sport. Modern theaters serve the entire community with excellent programs. One of the most envied pleasures of living in this university city has to do with the diversified sports program at the university. Focal point of all sports activity is the imposing modern equipped gymnasium. A three-story and basement fireproof building, it meets many needs of the university in addition to those of intercollegiate and the intramural and recreational activities of the student body. When used as a single basketball court for intercollegiate games, it will seat in excess of 6,500 spectators. Because world events in recent years have brought forcibly to the university's attention the need for better physical training of its students, it believes that in peacetime as in war, the nation needs competent young men and women for positions of leadership in the professional fields of physical education, athletic coaching, health education and recreation. Therefore, the university's College of Physical Education, Health and Athletics is dedicated to higher standards of health and knowledge, to wholesome recreation, to proper respect for and care of man's physical endowments, and to the training of teachers, coaches and instructors to further these ends. An ROTC program offers a four-year training period in the Division of Military Science and Tactics, which leads to a reserve commission in transportation, artillery, infantry, Air Force administration, Air Force communication or armament. A university recreation park, located in a beautiful setting of pines near Gainesville, is a popular retreat for students and faculty. Spring-like days throughout the winter months permit swimming, boating, and fishing on lovely Lake Warburg. A variety of sport facilities, as well as picnic accommodations, make this an ideal spot for healthful and enjoyable recreation. In connection with the university's athletic program and facilities is a fine infirmary, well equipped to care constantly for the general health of the student body. Both the school and the state of Florida look with justifiable pride to the achievements of the College of Pharmacy. Since 1923, it has steadily contributed to the nation through the training of young men and women as pharmacists and through its laboratory research in the field of new medicines. Highlight of the social season for students, alumni and residents is the fall homecoming celebration. A fabulous street parade of colorful bands, gorgeous floats, beautiful girls and prominent state dignitaries is but one of the many special events planned for the occasion. An annual legislative barbecue precedes the homecoming football game. It's attended by the most prominent and influential citizens of Florida. All festivities are climaxed by the thrilling show of the football game, of course. For a few fleeting hours, alumni become students again 
as they join the enthusiastic supporters of the Gators. Pitches are sweating it out. But the Gators are moving. Fake pass. Nice blocking right up the middle. And it's a big first down. This time, the forward pass. And the fullback is over for a touchdown. Sunday finds the community again returning to normalcy as families, students, and faculty make their way to church. Once again, peace and quiet replace the festive mood and the entire area regains the order and dignity so characteristic of the charming atmosphere retained here. With such tangible evidence as seen in the university's construction program, its competent staff and faculty, as well as its many services and academic offerings to students, it is understandable that the University of Florida looks to the future fully confident that it will meet every demand of its growing state and this progressive nation.